Uh, here is a sonnet for Ash Wednesday. Receive this cross of ash upon your brow, brought from the burning of Palm Sunday's cross. The forests of the world are burning now, and you make late repentance for the loss. But all the trees of God would clap their hands, the very stones themselves would shout and sing, if you could covenant to love these lands and recognise in Christ their Lord and King. He sees the slow destruction of those trees. He weeps to see the ancient places burn. And still you make what purchases you please, and still to dust and ashes you return. But hope could rise from ashes even now, beginning with this sign upon your brow. Here's my image of Ash Wednesday. If our lives were a long piece of fabric, with our baptism on one end and our funeral on another, and we don't know the distance between the two, then Ash Wednesday is a time when the fabric is pinched in the middle and the ends are held up so that our baptism in the past and our funeral in the future meet. The water and words from our baptism, plus the earth and words from our funerals, have come from the past and future to meet us in the present. And in that meeting, we are reminded of the promises of God, that we are God's that there is no sin, no darkness, and yes, no grave that God will not come to find us in and love us back to life. 